Now let's have a look on the correlation coefficients. We know that the covariance is an unreliable guide, so we should standardize the covariance, and that's what we do by calculating the correlation coefficients. And we take the correlation coefficient now for uh, the whole data set here. So we see the correlation coefficients are standardized between plus one and minus one. So the minus stands for a negative correlation, the plus stands for a positive correlation. And if we look at uh, the relation between wage and education, it's of course positive, but that's now the standardized correlation coefficient. So uh, before we had the covariance 4.51, this is non-standardized. If you standardize covariance, then it's 0.4. So it's a positive correlation between wage and education. That's what we already see if we have a closer look to the scatter blot. But now we have more numbers, more reliable numbers. So the correlation coefficient is the most reliable one. So why don't we uh, visualize these uh, correlation coefficients by core plot. So let's do that here jointly. We define a variable. Let's say the variable is wage uh, matrix, just to have some kind of variable name. And then we assign, we assign this error for uh, assignment. We assign the uh, command core wage one to that variable wage matrix. So nothing has happened. But uh, in the background, of course, the computer has already assigned uh, the core wage one to wage matrix. So why don't we uh, do that here now uh, and um, take the core plot command uh, and uh, add uh, type equals upper in inverted commerce and then uh, uh, the library cobalt is missing so we should install first and once we have installed that then load the rr package core plot now we uh, we have it uh, uh, loaded and then we can once again type in the core plot command and then, then we see uh, the core plot. So uh, we might then look at wage and education. Wage and education here, this is a blue um, circle and blue stands for positive correlation coefficients. So between zero and one. So in, this is the blue uh, and the darker the blue is, the, the higher is the correlation between the two variables. It's one between wage and wage, and it's 0.4 between wage and education. So it's a smaller and um, uh, a blue, blue circle, right? If the correlation were negative, then we would observe um, red circles. So that's the correlation plot. If you want to see that in more detail, we could then uh, zoom in and then we have a better uh, view on, on the core plot. So if we can go one step further, not looking only on explorative data analysis and descriptive statistics and looking at correlations but doing some regression then the command is summary lm uh, wage as endogenous variable take the tilde uh, and uh, regress now wage on education without controlling for any other variables right With, without controlling for anything it's just the simple regression, and that's the outcome, right? Um, we see that there is a positive uh, effect. So the beta one 
hat is 0.54. So it's not the original Minza equation with the log wage on the left-hand side. It's just not very simple to show. That's, that's a simple um, regression. So one additional year of schooling leads to an additional wage of 0.54. And uh, this is uh, highly significant. The t value is above 10, and the uh, uh, p value is, is, is very small. So we, we, we get three stars. Um, the three stars stand for a very low um, um, p value. And so the type 1 error is very small. However, the model does not explain a lot so it's only uh, uh, multiple r, r squared 16 percent so the model does only explain 16 percent of the variance of the endogenous variable which but we can we see it's it's pretty quick to get to results in this case it's just a, a toy example of course cannot interpret that mm, causally but if the background were a, a randomized controlled trial and if you control for more uh, confounding factors then we could interpret the coefficient uh, the regression coefficient uh, causally and that's what we will do in future videos with different data sets but it's not just a teaser how simple it is to work with r